Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The double standard of people. Oh my God, subhanAllah. The double standard of people is coming right in front of us now. When you see people trying to tell me that uh, Russia and Ukraine is the same thing as uh, Israel and uh, Palestine. No, it's not. If Ukraine was uh, like Palestine, then they should not have uh, stood with the side of Israel. It's obvious they're gonna stand right next to Israel because they're the ones who are funding it as well. And of course, who's funding uh, Israel? USA. So the double standard has to stop. Most of us, majority of us are now awake. Majority of us have uh, control over big networks and we are gonna change the mindset of people that are listening to our voice and are watching our videos and are using social media and we are going to spread the news that it's 100% okay to uh, talk about Israel and uh, not be scared about the whole labeling of being anti-Semitic. We're going to make it so normal to talk about Israel that you guys would not know how to deal with it or how to deal with us. Social media war is already won by everybody else apart from Israel. Palestine has won this war. Yes, you have martyred the innocent people and you are going to be held responsible in the form of different type of things that are going to be happening to Israel now. One thing that already has happened is people have canceled their trips to Israel. No more tourism to Israel and that's how it should be. And uh, the currency is down, which is amazing news. Exports, imports, inshallah, they'll be down as well. So the reason why I'm actually adding this post today or the video today is to let you know, if you stand with Israel at this very point, or if you don't say anything, that means you're supporting genocide. You're supporting the massacre of the Palestinians. And if you feel that you need to talk about something and uh, it has to be um, politically correct, then it means that you're supporting uh, Israel. You're not supporting uh, the innocent people of Palestine. Not at all. I'm seeing some posts on Facebook uh, and Instagram these days where somebody says something about Israel and all of a sudden, some old lady comes in and says, oh, that is quite anti-Semitic. Don't do that. How are the Jews going to feel? Do you really think that uh, the butchering that most of us see, I have access to some telegram pages which shows the videos and uh, pictures that you're not going to see in media of the babies that are killed and uh, burned alive. That's what they have been, isn't it? Isn't that what Holocaust was? And you come up and tell me that uh, I should be caring about the feelings of, uh, of a group that is... Uh, backing this whole uh, crap I don't think so I advise you and I recommend every single person to put the fear aside and start talking about Israel if you're working at a company and you're scared to lose your job remember one thing the Almighty has written every single thing that has to come to you in your lifetime Yes, I know it's easier said than done, but the thing is, if you're not going to stand with the pressed at this very moment, remember, what goes around comes around. I hope that this does not happen to you, but uh, you know, if nobody's caring for the Palestinians and if uh, this is the way they're being treated, they're being killed right in front of our eyes, it can happen to us as well. And then don't complain if nobody stands up for you.